Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. I'm literally obsessed with this. It's like the perfect smoky eye. If you don't like really dark looks, this one's perfect because it's not super dark, but it's still very smoky and sexy. I was really inspired by this picture right here that Makeup by Mario did. I love him so much. I'll leave his Instagram down below. I'm sure you guys know who he is. He's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. But when I saw that look, I was like, I need to do that. So that's what I did right here. I did my own little version of it. I think it looks pretty good. I really love this look. This look, we're going to be using the Lorac Pro 3 palette, one of my favorites. But yes, this is the look right here. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe down below. And if you guys want to see how to get this look, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as you guys see, my one eye is already done as well as my eyebrows and I already have this eye primed with some concealer and some setting powder. So let's jump right into it. Going into the Lorac Pro 3 palette, I'm going to be taking these two shades, Clay and Terracotta. They're really nice neutral brown shades. One of them is more of a yellowy brown and the other one is more of a light brown. So I'm taking that brush and applying this from inner to outer corner, kind of winging out the shade a little bit and bringing it into my lash line. Okay guys, now going into Jet Black on a Coastal Scents angled brush, any angled small brush will do. And I'm taking a very, very light, light amount of this color. You do not want a lot. You want this color to first start off as gray looking more than black. So I'm dipping into that shade and taking it off on the back of my hand a little bit and using whatever is left over on the brush to build my shape. So first I'm tilting my head back and then taking my brush and putting this directly into my crease winging it out and then putting it directly to my lash line. When I get into that inner corner, I'm going to stretch it out a little bit more, as you guys can see on this. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have our shape and our line nicely built. Now going into the Morphe 506 brush, my pencil brush, I'm taking that and with no additional color, I'm blending this out very, very slightly. We don't want this look to be too blended because as you guys see on the other eye, we want to still see that distinct line. Going back into that same black and that angled brush, I'm gonna keep doing this step until I feel like it's built up enough to the color that I want. But as I said, I'm going very light handed and then building it up as I go, because if you go too dark, it's way too hard to get rid of. So start off light handed and go back and forth to each. So apply the black, blend it out a little bit, and then go back in and create your shape again. I'm taking that fluffy brush and adding a little bit. As you guys see, I tapped it just a little bit with that black shade, and I'm adding this onto the outer corner very slightly to create more of a smoky outer corner. Now going into a makeup wipe, I'm just gonna clean that up to kind of see where I'm at with the outer corner and to see if I like the shape. If I don't, I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more. Okay, so now for the lid shade, I'm gonna go back into that palette and take a little bit of pink nude, mix a little bit of canvas, and I'm blending it into the outer edge. Okay, so that's basically it for the eyeshadow. And now for the lash line, I really want this to be very smoky and black, as you guys see here. So first, I'm going to go in with the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen. And this one is in the shade Black Noir. And I'm taking this and applying this to my lash line and really making it dark. And I'm making it more of a thin line as opposed to a thick line. I'm also going to apply this in my tight line as well. So now going in with the MAC Black Stroke Liner in black, I'm going to take this and kind of make that line a little bit more straight and precise, and then follow that shape of my inner corner as well. Okay, so I'm just going to be applying mascara, but of course you can go in and apply lashes. I don't have any otherwise. I definitely would apply lashes, but this still looks good. It kind of emphasizes the eye a little bit more. So now for mascara, I'm going to go in with the Ultimate Boost Volume Primer from Rimmel first, apply a few coats of this, and then go in with my Clinique Mascara, and then I'll be right back to start the face. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and prime and start the face. Now for today, I'm going to be using a lot of different primers to hydrate and moisturize my skin and to prep it. Just because for this look, I really want it to be full coverage, but look very glowy and natural at the same time. So I personally, since I have dry skin, like to add a little bit of extra steps when I am going to be doing that kind of look. So first, of course, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've really been liking this. I'm going to take this and apply this wherever I feel like I have the most pores. So that's basically down the center of my face and my cheek area. It says to wait 30 seconds after you're done before going in with foundation as well. Next, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. I really like this one. And it's applying this all over my entire face. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion and I'm gonna apply this to where I really want my skin to glow. So basically my cheek area and down the center of my face as well. Now, as you guys see here, just applying it to my cheek area first. But as you guys see, it adds a really nice natural glow. And then lastly, I'm gonna go in with the Pixi Glow Mist. They recently sent me this and I only used it once and so far I really like it. I love all their sprays. As you guys know, the rose one is my favorite. So for foundation, I wanted to try this one out. This is the Revlon Color Stay Combination Slash Oily, and this one's definitely too dark for me. This one is in 340 Tan, and when I was on the American Beauty Star show, they gave us a bunch of products, and I never really got to try this out just because, again, as you guys can see, it's not my shade, but I really feel like trying it today because it looks like it's going to be, like, really glowy. But I'm going to be mixing a little bit of the NARS Natural Radiant in the shade Oslo. Take a few dots to my skin. Speaking of foundation, I just, well not just, probably like a week ago, purchased the new Tati Blendiful. And I'm super excited about that. It should be coming in on Tuesday, so in two days. And I've been dying to test it out. I'm definitely going to be doing a review for you guys and like a demo. So if you guys want to see that, if you guys want to see like half of my face using like my Real Technique sponge and half the face using the Blendiful, let me know but if you want a whole face just using the wonderful let me know as well but i thought doing one side with the wonderful and one side with the sponge and then going throughout my day to see which one kind of lasts better i thought that'd be really interesting so if you guys want to see that let me know so now to blend this out first i'm going to go in with the morphe m439 brush and kind of buff this into my skin first take my sponge on a little bit whatever on the back of my hand just kind of work that into the skin to make sure we have no brush strokes and to make sure it's really nice and seamless without too much product yeah okay so now to highlight and conceal I'll make this a little bit lighter i'm gonna go in with the course the Too faced born this way multi sculpting concealer in snow you guys know i really like this one i'm gonna take this and apply this on the center of my face so my under eyes chin Keep its bow, nose, forehead. As you guys can see it's nice and bright and it looks nice and awake so now to set that i'm going to be taking my laura mercier loose setting powder in translucent and i've really been liking this kat von d duo brush to do that with this is the shade and light brush and i'm going to be taking this pointed side i'm going to be taking what's ever left over and kind of just putting it all over my skin. I don't like setting my face too much. Like I said, I am dry. So I take what's ever left over just so my bronzer and everything goes on smoothly. Okay, so I'm going to finish the one eye and then I'll come back and do the other eye on camera and then we'll finish the face. Okay, so as you guys see, I have the one eye already done. It was so easy for the bottom. So going back into that Lorac palette, I'm taking them two first shades that we used earlier and applying it to inner to outer lash line very lightly with a more denser packed brush. But again, not adding too much color. Going back into that pixie liner, I'm adding this into my waterline. Now I'm taking any eyeliner and taking the back of it that has a smudger. If you don't have one of these, you can go ahead and use a brush. But I'm going to be taking the back of the smudger and smudging that out. And lastly, I'm just going to go in with my mascara and apply it to my bottom lashes. Okay, so that is it for the eyes. I really loved how they turned out. And now to bronze our skin. You guys already know, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier bronzer in number one. And for that, I'm going to go in with this MAC brush right here and apply this. Just basically the perimeter of my face. So right here on my forehead. I always like to tap first and then I blend it just so I don't disturb any product. 
and then going in and applying this by my jawline using circular motions. Okay, so now for blush, I'm going to that NARS palette and taking this shade right here. It's a really nice kind of peachy brown shade. Taking that same brush I used for my bronzer and applying this to the apples of my cheeks. Just kind of brushing it backwards into that bronzer. And a little bit on my forehead to kind of mesh everything together. That's what I like to do. And a little bit on the nose. Now for an overall glow, first I'm going to go into the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in number one. It's kind of like a baked radiant powder that you can use all over the face. So going back in with that same brush, I'm taking just a little bit, tapping that off, and basically just applying it all over just to kind of get a nice glow all over first. I'm using that same powder and using it a little bit more centered for my highlight. So right above that blush, just a little centered. And then a little bit on the apples. But as you guys see, this highlight is so nice for all over really lightly or as a really great highlighter. Now to settle that, I'm gonna go in with the iconic London Prep Set and Glow Spray. This is in the darkest one. I've really been liking it. seems like a nice bronzed look. So now for lips, I'm going to line them first with the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. This one is the shade Gone Gringe. I'm going to overline them slightly. So what I like to do is just do a little bit overline right above, right above my top lip right there. And then still following the shade on the outer corner. I'm not overlining the outer edge. I'm lining right underneath my bottom, overlining it. This really gives the effect of a pouty lip. And again, I'm not overlining the sides. Okay, so now for lips, I'm going to go in with this one by Too Faced. This is the Melted Longwear Lipstick in the shade Sugar. Then over top of it, going in with that Revlon lip gloss that I always use. Okay, so that completes this finished look right here, recreating and doing my own version of Mario's makeup look. I love him so much, and when I saw this look, I was like, I need to do that immediately. I really love it. So hope you guys really like it as well. And yes, if you guys want to see my Tati Beauty review, if you guys want to see a full face of that sponge, or if you guys want to see one side with a normal sponge and one side with the wonderful, let me know down below. But yes, hope you guys really enjoyed this look. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.